Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to read your app's server logs. This is the part of your application uh, that will help you see all of the activity going on in your app's backend, any updates to your database, any time a button is clicked um, or a page is loaded or anything like that. If your application runs into an error of some kind, this is where you can get the raw information for all of the activity going on. So you can find it under the logs section on the left hand side here and then under server logs. And just note that you, you do have separate um, logs for your development version and your live version. So if you want to see the activity for your live, uh, the live version of your application, just make sure you switch over to live here in the upper right um, and you'll see the activity there. So the way the logs works is just a reverse chronological order um, of all activity uh, in real time. So the newest uh, entry, log entry, is going to be at the very top. You can see that you can filter your logs by uh, date range. Um, also, you have a couple check marks here. So if you just want to see errors to help you find something a little bit faster without having to dig through all sorts of activity, you can just have the errors checked. Um, you can search by any activity that involved a specific user. Um, by entering in that user's unique ID or their email address. You can put either one of those values in here um, and the logs will filter by that user. And then contains is just kind of like a catch-all where you can uh, enter in a text string, maybe a number value if you're looking for something very specific um, that might have uh, been related to one of your app's activity records. Um, so you just hit search and it'll, it'll do that. Clear will reset all of these uh, settings up here. Also, the plan that you are on is going to dictate how far back you can go into your logs. Um, and you can get more of that information about how far back on Bubble's pricing page. Uh, which I will link in the description below so that you can check that out just to make so that you understand how far back you can go on your plan. Reading your logs is pretty straightforward. Each row is going to be for a separate activity. On the top left here you'll see um, whatever the triggering um, item was, whether it was an element or maybe it was a uh, workflow event. When you click on it, it will take you directly to uh, that action there in your uh, application or to the element on the design page. Um, and then you have the user that triggered that particular action. If it's just a non-logged in user, you're going to see this anonymous user there. If the person's logged in, you will see their email address there, um, as well as their unique ID, plus a date and timestamp of this um, activity, of course. And then the, this bar larger part here gives you more information about um, uh, whether the activity was successful, if it ran into an error, um, or what values were ultimately involved when the workflow ran. So if you're making an update to a thing, and you can see here it'll provide the unique ID of that thing, it'll tell you what value um, was ultimately added in. If you want to zoom into uh, an item here, you can click on zoom on this workflow, and that will isolate that particular call um, and kind of give you like a, a breadcrumb trail of um, where did this originate from? Well, it started from this icon which was clicked, that started the workflow, then a condition that was placed on that workflow was passed so it was able to move forward, um, it triggered something else, this, I, this is a custom event I believe, um, and then ultimately it was able to make a change to um, a record. So that's a really quick look at how to read your server logs. Um, this area is really handy for um, troubleshooting your application and just getting um, a good understanding about what's going on. If something's not happening the way that you think it is, this is a really great place to look um, after the fact because this is basically um, a history um, of activity for everything going on in your application. Also, if you ever need to file a bug report, um, being able to provide this information is also uh, very helpful. And hey guys, I have a free download over on my site with more tips just like this. So all you need to do is click the link in the description below and you can download that guide there for free. Thanks so much for watching.